these fish are powerful. We're in an area where you have a brackish mix with water, uh, salt water. Uh, these sturgeon, it's like they get on steroids. These fish that are, you know, three foot to six foot, they'll pull out hundreds of feet of line on you. So having the right setup, the right gear, enough line to where you can let that fish run and play that fish back to you is essential. <clears throat> I know with this wind, the bite might be a little bit tougher to see, but it's kind of, it's going to look like that, but maybe a little bit more aggressive. So when we see that going, get aggressive. Keep reeling. You got them. Even know yet. Cut one. That would be nice. So we left Chinook, Washington, where I moored the boat, uh, about 4.30, 4.45 in the morning. And we proceeded to run about 17 miles upriver up to what we call the islands, which is above Astoria, where there's a group of islands, sandbars, uh, ditches that we're fishing in. Uh, got up there fairly early, but obviously there's guys out there, you know, a lot earlier than we are getting these key spots. Uh, I knew of a spot that should fish pretty good, but we had you know, a short amount of time uh, because of the tide. These fish are working uh, at high tide on these mud flats and these sandbars uh, looking for food. And as we got up in there, we were creeping up on high tide. Ready. <laughs> Give another hook set. There you go. That's a hook set right there. I saw it going. I, I, well, I was watching his line, it just, just, it just kept going <laughs> up. The like, pole it... wasn't moving. Is it going? <laughs> yeah. Because it's not very deep there. So when we're fishing for sturgeon, when I'm fishing for sturgeon, I like to fish shallow water. Anywhere from, you know, three and a half to, to six feet of water to where I like to sit my boat in. But quite often we're casting into a, a foot to two feet of water and sometimes you'll actually see the backs of the sturgeon swimming towards your bait and actually take your bait, which is what happened uh, this last Saturday uh, with my guys out. We had a fish that we actually saw and then it actually took the bait, which is very neat to see. And of course, because we're in such shallow water, these fish are aerial fish. They are gonna jump, they're gonna splash around. Uh, they're a hard fighting, strong fish. You gotta pump the fish to you. There you go. Work your way to the back of the boat.
No, 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 no. Okay, foul go under. So these sturgeon, like I said, they, they, these things are fight, good fighters. Uh, we always try to keep all the lines in the water. Some guys pull all their lines out to clear them. Uh, I'm all about seeing if we can get a two, three, four fish on at the same time. Really make it a, a, an organized chaos situation. And as we're going over and under rods and around uh, anchor lines and so forth, that's all part of the fun and the action fighting these powerful sturgeon. Uh, and it's just great to see them jump. It's great to see guys having a good time. Uh, when we got multiple fish on. Uh, it's, it can be pandemonium, but it's, it, it's, it's awesome. It's great. gets our scent trail out and these fish key on the scent work their way up to the baits so that's what we're looking for is we're looking for some current uh, I prefer to fish outgoes you get more current you get that smell trail flowing out there a little bit farther uh, broadcasting out there and these fish they'll come running for it that's the plan I like to set up on like these little areas where you got sandbars on each side of you and a gutter. And so these fish are gonna come out of the gutter onto the sand flats or vice versa on the outgo tide, they're gonna flush off and into the gutter that we're sitting in. Um, that's kind of like a corral, get them, you know, hit them off at the pass, more or less. We're getting these fish that are traveling on and off these feeding areas. So in you know, mid-May into the summer months in, in the estuary of Astoria and the Columbia River, um, we've got fish, we got sturgeon coming in from the ocean, we've got fish migrating from upriver, and we have a small percentage of resident fish that are in this area. Um, part of the reason why I believe that these fish are coming down here is they're coming down here to feed. Um, we've got an anchovy run that comes in and flushes in the river. Uh, we've got a smelt run that comes in and works its way upriver as well as well as shad, uh, which is another mainstay of these fish that they're feeding on. So we've got these influx of baits coming into the lower river. Some are working upriver, some stay down in the lower river. So these fish kind of, you know, congregate uh, in Astoria, it seems like, just because it's that time of year, they've got good temperature and water conditions for them to feed and, and get fat and then eventually go back up river or go back out in the ocean and do their travels and and so I think this is why they're down here at this time of year in, in great numbers and that's why we have a good opportunity to catch a lot of fish in a day. Uh, sometimes we'll have days where we'll catch 30 to 50 fish. Some days it's you know a handful of fish but uh, as Traditionally, uh, June, July are very good months. We have a lot of fish down here feeding. So that's what we're doing is we're targeting these fish as they're getting here. 